What's up guys, this is Enhander from Fear Productions. I'm here back at the range and I'm testing out some of my World War II rifles. It's 4th of July weekend, so happy Independence Day to everybody. Um, I actually have already taken a couple shots here. There was a couple people at the range when I got here and they were taking a look at my rifles and I let them shoot the um, rifle was unloaded. The SVT-40, um, put a couple rounds of surplus ammunition through it at 25 yards and it's grouping just a little bit low. Um, but it's a very tight group. Um, I love this rifle. I am so, so blessed to have found this rifle at the right time, and I'll explain that story when I take this to the tabletop. But uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Take it to the tabletop, and I will uh, go over the rifle in detail, and we'll come back here to the range and show you some firing footage. Okay, guys, I'm trying something else new here. Got a tripod set up with my iPhone on it so as you can see I have the SVT 40 here on the table um, we're gonna do a quick disassembly video of it and I want to preface this by saying since this is the first part that you're gonna see before I take it out and shoot it um, the magazine was giving me a lot of trouble and I explained that in the video um, it's got one of the clips in the back a little uh, notch that locks it in there's two of them one of them's broke off so the mag is rattling around. I had a lot of failures to feed. I actually think the extractor on this might be bad too because I had a lot of failures to extract as well. A bunch of different things but uh, I digress. Let's go ahead and uh, take this apart here. It's going to be kind of difficult for me to do on camera here so we'll hopefully get it all taken care of. First let's verify that the rifle is unloaded visually and physically inspecting the chamber and it is so we're going to go ahead and let the bolt ride bolt ride home and okay what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the top cover here so you're going to slide back and it's going to be under a lot of pressure because of the recoil spray but well normally what you want to do is with your finger the recoil uh, spraying at the, is going to hold it right here normally when you lift up I just keep your finger right there and then slowly slide down the recoil spring mechanism and the top cover will come off. And then you want to go in, it's a dual captured spring, so you want to kind of move to the side in order to release the spring. As you can see, it's two pieces, actually three, four pieces. You have this, this bar in the middle which retains both springs, and there's the other spring so we're going to set that here and to remove the bolt is very simple as you slide the bolt back once you've reached the back here lift up and out and that's the basic fill stripping of the SVT 40 so we'll lay that down there take a closer inspection of the bolt it's a two-piece bolt. The actual extractor and firing pin are retained in the bottom section here. You have the bolt housing, which is right here, and the actual bolt itself. And normally when I, uh, I'm going to clean it here after I get done showing the video, but normally what I'll do is just wipe everything down. I will grease the outside of these rails here where it rides back and forth into the in the rifle and um, make sure that the extractor area is clean of debris anything nasty along that line which looks like there's a bunch of gunk down in there now um, but that is the basic disassembly now I mean you can go a step further if you wanted to view the underside here where the gas tube is you can slide off this sling mount right here and the wood would come off exposing the, the wood handguard would come off exposing the gas tube but I'm not going to do that there's no need to do that um, at least for basic field maintenance all right we're going to go ahead and reassemble the rifle here what we're going to do is take the bolt housing the bolt and you have to put the front end of the bolt in very slightly like so and just slowly move it back and it'll lock into place as such. 
So we're going to put the bolt back into the rifle. And you have to do this at an angle. So towards the left side, if you're holding it like you were ready to shoot it, you have to drop the bolt down in, let it get in the tracks, slide it back, and then it will lock down into place as such. Now, getting the recoil spring back in is a and the uh, dust cover is a very tricky endeavor. So we're going to go ahead and put the spring in. You kind of got to have three hands for this sometimes. Kind of just work it back. Okay. There we go. It's just getting that little back piece to be captured. Um, once you do that, capture it. Of course, as we as in when we disassembled it, it'll slide forward and then just ride back. We want to check for function. Of course, I have the magazine out of the gun, so it's not going to walk back. And the, the rifle does slide. Now you can manually lock it back if you want it, really want to by pushing the bolt in and releasing the catch on the inside there that the, the bolt would lock back from if the, the firearm was empty. But that is the SVT-40. Um, overall, I really do love the rifle. I need to get another magazine for it and check the extractor, but this was a, one of the rifles that I'm very glad that I found. Um, but enough of me talking. Let's get out to the range and shoot it and see the problems that I was having with the... Um, with the magazine, but uh, overall still a great rifle. Okay, I'm going to put some more rounds down range with the uh, SBT-40 here. And I don't normally take the magazine out simply because when I got this magazine, this clip broke off. It's not the original magazine that uh, the gun came with. It's an aftermarket. I don't, uh, doesn't really have a, um, manufacturer on it, but I need to get another magazine. I'm shooting, my box fell apart here, this is Red Army Standard 762x54R, and it's 140 grain FMJ. So I'm going to load up five rounds here, and I'm going to shoot another group at the, I have two targets down there stacked one on top of another. So I'm going to take five more shots, and really guys, this, this gun is, is good to go. Um, always has been, it's always been super uh, reliable, um, well, at least when it comes to accuracy. Um, I think this magazine has a lot in part due to sometimes I get a failure to feed, and I think it's because the magazine is uh, jacked up. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a couple shots and see where we land. See, I love this magazine, but Russian rifle, so that's how we fix that. There we go, up and running. Guys, it's grouping them super tight. Um, it's a little bit low, which I'm okay with because once you take this out to 100, it's going to be perfect. Mm. 
Yep, did it again. All right. I would grip grab the. Let's try it again. Okay. Just the camera here. Well, the SVT is plenty accurate, but it's giving me a lot of fits today. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to move over to the, um, the end field, and then we'll go down and take a look at the targets, and I'll swap out for the grand. I'm walking down here to the 25-yard line. Um, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was. So, <laughs> the SVD grouped low, and the end field grouped high. Again, that could just be me. Um, I, I don't know, but, uh. Let's take a look at it here. So that's the SVD. Um, I like those. How about that? A lot of these, I mean, that's that's the general group. So take that out to 100, and I'm, I'm certain it'll be right where it needs to be. But we'll see. I want to take it over there, and who knows what will happen. And then, of course, the 303. I don't see any shots that were not on target. It looks like we have uh, that almost looks like two shots went through that and they're there. This looks like three group, that's three grouped, and that's two. Yeah. So of course I'd like to come out here and put them all in the bullseye but I'm just an average shot, at least with a rifle. I'm, I'm decent with a pistol, but uh, hey, we're all improving. That's why we come out here. That's why we train, even though this, this is just target shooting. Uh, eventually, either this year or early next year, I'm going to try and get in some training classes in Ohio and in PA, um, some tactical training classes for rifle and pistol. Um, Got to get my wedding out of the way and then uh, allocate some funds for some actual hands-on training with an instructor but uh, I'm gonna get the target reset here and bring out the grand and we will go from there 